Good evening and welcome to Random Acts of Poetry. Uh, we have Bob in the background uh, for our home practice in half an hour. Uh, today's poem is a piece from my new piece of work called The Garden. Uh, it's inspired by a book called How Yoga Works, which is itself inspired by the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. Um, it's a great little text. Uh, both of them are, are, are well worth a read. Definitely, if you want to explore them a little bit further, cross-reference and explore through them. And you know, there's lots of different versions of this text out there. What's a sutra? A sutra is a line or a phrase uh, or an idea that is discussed by the seeker and the sage. And um, whereas we ask and we question our nature to reality, then the sage or the seer will explain uh, their understanding of it. And it is just their understanding, and this is the key to it, because the whole 196 sutras are actually only tied down to two sutras, which I think is sutra, sutra three and four, possibly four and five. Anyway, we don't need to cross-reference that. It's, and the idea behind it is that the actual practice is to sit and watch, to watch it all. To have no judgment, to have no dislikes, no likes, no feelings towards something. And it can almost be quite a numbing place, quite a, a cold place, as your layers of desire are stripped away, as your layers of understanding of, of everything that you thought was valuable is is recalibrated. Anyhow, a suture is said to be the length of a good walk. So the idea would be discussed, the question would be raised by the seeker, and then the seer and the seeker would continue their walk and discuss this idea of reality. And here's my little synopsis. 196 stitches. Sewing the threads to what lies at the heart's head, holding these pages, the wisdom of sages, fanning the flames of the fire that burns impurity away. Two lines spoken in ancient script, embraced to quickly lift the searching soul from the despair of the pit. This pain and suffering is all about desire. To care for something other than the self, to promote well-being and the health of those who see and understand the world in a way that clearly disappoints them. Clinging to ideals so dearly that they must show some glimmer of truth a little bit of proof that this is all worthwhile. As you stitch your fingers, learn to smile. <laughs>